Hello everyone, this is ZG. KSP2 has been out for a week. However, due to the various bugs in the game, I haven't been able to do complex missions like I did in KSP1. So I decided to do an easier mission. And today we will go to Mimus and back in an SSTO without nuclear or ion engines. This craft has two rapier engines and one terrier engine. The ascent profile and the design are both fairly normal. After reaching orbit, we will do a series of periapsis kick to go to Mimas. The maneuver node in KSP2 is quite inconvenient at the moment. To make things worse, I cannot see my trajectory around Mimas until entering its SOI. As a result, I have to spend more delta V than necessary for the transfer. Luckily, I haven't encountered any Kraken attack and is able to get captured around Mimus. Due to some SAS issue, my landing is quite sloppy and inefficient. But Mimus has a friendly gravity, so nothing is broken. Bill plants a flag and expresses some concern about the game. Launching from Mimus is quite smooth and safe. However, the maneuver node bugged out after I reached the low Mimus orbit. The predicted trajectory after leaving Mimus SOI is completely wrong, so I have to take a guess and adjust my orbit after leaving Mimus SOI. During re-entry, I overshoot KSC and have to make a 180 degree turn to get back to the runway. The landing is a bit rough, but the plane remains intact. After this mission, I decided to make a similar craft in KSP-1 due to the higher ISP of the Terrier engine and the lower dry mass of this craft. It has about 500 meters per second more delta V than the similar craft in KSP-2. So instead of Mimus, we will go to the Moon. Our Delta V budget is very tight, so we need to do some gravity assists to save fuel. The landing also needs to be as efficient as possible. We can save some extra Delta V by using wheel brake to help us stop on the surface. After getting into low Mount orbit, we don't have enough Delta V to go back to Kerbin directly, so gravity assist again. After a Mount assist, our orbit now enters Kerbin atmosphere and we can arrow break down the rest of the way. During the final re-entry, I overshoot KSD again. Fortunately, nothing is damaged and the mission ends successfully. And I will see you next time.